Hey Sainers, welcome back to the Saints TV YouTube channel and welcome to the Round 8 Match Preview. Saturday, 4.35pm Marvel Stadium, we've got North. Yeah, it's that game. They're winless and we sit at 2-5 and five in a little bit of a precarious position. A good run in the next three, starting with North, but again based on the fact that we've played them last year and they weren't the most exciting games. It's not one that I think is going to draw a huge crowd. It's not one that really any neutral would be too keen on. It's just one that Saints fans want to go and see a decent four-quarter performance and get the four points. I think that's honestly where we're at right now with this game, isn't it? Comment your thoughts, but I just think we need to go there. I want to see us kick 15, 16 goals. I want to get to the 100 Let's crack 100 if we can with Max King potentially returning. Mason Wood potentially returning as well. Um, we've got a number of players that could be could be in for uh, an inclusion and a couple of players maybe out of form that will miss. But don't we just need to go there, get some percentage and move on. No injuries, clean game. We don't need it to be flawless, but we don't need it to be a tight affair like last year where... I mean, last year in the first time we played them, what was it, one goal to two or something at halftime? It was atrocious. And then the second time around, they were leading for a lot of the game and we needed a late quarter comeback. Uh, and Jack Higgins sealing it late, late with a few minutes to go, I remember. Uh, and speaking of Jack Higgins, we're not going to have him because he was suspended for three games, which I think is bullshit, but that's the way it is. Could open the door um, for some, some players to come in. I know Mason Wood is one, Max King's another. Um, but regardless of that, I mean, J Jack Steele and Ron Marshall, Jack Steele didn't really train fully yesterday, I heard. Rowan Marshall uh, looked very sore and obviously looked a bit injured against Port, so whether Tom Campbell gets a shout against his old side is another thing. Harry Sheasel's their number one ranked player at the moment for North, and then it's a fair gap. Tristan Cherry is next on their agenda. Um, he's doing quite well this year, averaging 33 hitouts. And then there's LDU, who from... A North perspective, they've told me his form hasn't been great for the majority of the season. But I think he's still averaging 27 disposals um, and nearly six clearances a game, which is essentially on par with Steele and Rowan Marshall for most clearances for St Kilda. So LDU out of form is still getting a lot of clearances, and that's obviously one of our biggest weaknesses. Um, George Wardlaw... They've got some players in the middle that could cause us some problems, but at either end, I think, you know, particularly their their back line, it looks quite light. They don't really have a straight-up matchup for a Max King if he does play, not to mention Tim Membry, uh, Sharm, and Caminiti. If we go with all of them, surely we don't. Caminiti, or, sorry, Caminiti, Sharm, and Membry, I think one of them, if King comes in, has to go. I'm not sure which one because they've all... I mean, Caminiti tried quite well, yes, last week. Uh, Shaman and Membry for me have been in the firing line and I haven't really enjoyed the way they've gone about it so I think they need a lift but um, I know Ross isn't one to make wholesale changes uh, Mason Wood could come in maybe a Ronnie Burns even as a sub could be handy um, it's just a game where like you can talk about the ins and outs but honestly regardless of the ins and outs we should be going into this and rocking up and getting the four points and moving on pretty comfortably, right? Our starts haven't been great. I've said this for a number of weeks now. Our starts to games have not been great. We've struggled a little bit to come out of the blocks. We wait for the other team to throw the first punch and then we respond. In this type of game where you're the favoured team, uh, pretty comfortably the favoured team, you need to come out and you need to make a statement early and kill the game before halftime. That's, that's the approach we need to be going into this game. I know Jack Sinclair came out earlier in the week and he said, you know, because we're going to be getting some players back, we're going to hopefully get our stronger team on the park in the next couple of weeks. Liam Henry, potentially next week. Hunter Clark, Ben Patton, uh, Brad, Brad Crouch, these sort of guys all, uh, you know, in the next month, hopefully, we'll, we'll be able to get into the best 22. So he's called on the senior players um, to stand up. And in a game like this, we, we were gallant in defeat last week. It did, you know, flatter us a little bit, the inaccuracy of Port. But in a game like this, when North, I think the average losing margin at the moment is around 57.4 points. You know, we should be aiming for something like that. Our percentage is not great. If you look at the ladder currently, what are we at? 80-something percent. 
89.3%. Uh, North Melbourne, 57.3%. So there's a big gap there. We just need to kick more goals. That's the main issue. You know, teams that play North are averaging around 20 goals a game. You know, around that 110 to 120 point mark, that's what they're kicking. So they've conceded over 100 points in every single game so far. There's the challenge to continue that trend. This is going to be a very interesting test for us going in attack because they're going to give us opportunities. They're going to allow us some space maybe that we're not used to because we've played some pretty good teams this year that just, you know, a bit more defensively sound than North. We need to take advantage of every mistake, every shortcoming that they show us, that they give us, every turnover, we need to hurt them. But if we continue to go through games where we're just not kicking goals, where looking a bit uninspired, maybe our transition's not working, that's a big problem. But outside of the midfield, I think at either end, you know, Larky's obviously going to cause problems. Zerha is always good for a couple of goals against us. But I think with the way our defense has been, that's not been a problem. We stopped, you know, Port Adelaide, we kept him to 80-odd points last week. They've got a stacked forward line and a very good midfield. Not the same this week. So let's maximize that. Let's take the momentum from the, the I guess, the last quarter last week where we were a very close chance of snatching that game. And let's carry that through. Because we've lifted against the good teams this year and we've struggled against teams we should be beating. You know, we struggled against Richmond. We coughed up the game against the Bombers. The doggies, we don't want to talk about that. Comment your thoughts. Let me know what you're thinking about this game, what the final margin is going to be, what your tip is, your thoughts. Um, you know, it's just a non-negotiable. Simple as that. So on that note, Sainers, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back after the game for my review. May not be live. Uh, I'll hopefully be in the rooms chatting to a few boys, so stay tuned for that. Thanks to Mosh. But, um, yeah, I'll be back after the game. Oppo view. Friday as well um, and obviously all the rest of the content for the week so enjoy the rest of your week Sainers take care and as always go your mighty Sainers see you guys